dare you side with Watch Colonel yourself, Miss O'Cannon. The robe is off. How could you allow that testimony about the button and the burned dress? That's hearsay. It's circumstantial. It's speculative, for heaven's sake. Oh, and Cruz's possible thoughts are allowed as evidence? I didn't see it that way. I noticed. I had Connor destroyed on that pinion soap. And then you gave him credibility by allowing that gunpowder residue testimony from Kelly. Kelly, who doesn't know the difference between gunpowder and talcum powder? And why didn't you allow the molestation to be brought up? Oh, that certainly was not at all pertinent to this case. My God, talk about hearsay. And then you put Warren in to testify tomorrow morning, which will ruin B.J.'s credibility right from the top. If Warren can prove that B.J. has an unstable personality, and that relates directly to all the testimony we've heard so far, where is the harm in hearing it now, as opposed to later on in the trial? If Warren was put in as a last-minute witness, he should testify last. There is no order in which witnesses have to be called, Julia. You know that. Now, look. I have ruled. Warren is up tomorrow. That's that. Fine. But you sided with Arnold on this, and you did it to make me look bad. I'm sure that'll make you a real front-runner in this election. Is that what this is all about? <laughs> You're concerned about looking bad at the election? Julia? Oh. You're taking this far too personally. <laughs> no, I'm not taking this personally, yeah. sweetheart. I love you. <laughs> I do, you know. I do love you. <laughs> now that is personal. <laughs> I hate the decision you made, and that is the attorney talking to the judge. Now, you put that in your pipe and smoke it. You owe me one, Capwell. <laughs>